The Duties of an Orthopaedics Nurse Nurses are burdened by multiple pages of patient assessment documents. They are also constantly distracted by more and more clinical duties and tasks. Because of the huge amount of material they have to enter into the computer, they may overlook one or two items that may be very important for the patient's care. We designed this presentation to make it easier for nurses dealing with orthopaedic patients to remember those important functions. The following is an example of how a nurse may forget something that's important for the patient's care. The patient may be given breakfast by the dietary service despite the fact that the patient is in preparation for surgery. In this situation, the patient should not have eaten anything past midnight. The patient was fed because simply there was no NPO sign posted in the room. It's very important to keep the patient NPO before surgery. In order to remember the important functions of an orthopedics nurse, think about it in the following manner. Remember, this is not the exact sequence of patient assessment, but rather a method to memorize them. Say to yourself, it is safe for the patient to walk and eat. If so, then perform a neurovascular check. While checking the patient's vascular status, insert an IV line for fluids and to administer antibiotics and pain medications. If the patient is not safe to walk, then make sure you give appropriate DVT prophylaxis, be it mechanical or chemical. Also, check for decubitus ulcers and take the necessary precautions to avoid them. It is safe for the patient to walk and eat. Patient safety. Make sure the patient has the appropriate identifier. Ask yourself, did I wash my hands before handling the patient? Also, assess the patient's wounds, allergic status, their risk of falling and probable drug interactions. If you find a situation that isn't safe, talk about it and fix it. If you can't fix it on your own, get someone who can help you fix it. It is safe for the patient to walk and eat. Walking. Ask yourself, is the patient out of bed or on bed rest? Determine the patient's activity level and weight-bearing status and whether they require physical therapy or ambulatory aids. Sometimes patients are kept in bed despite the fact that they should be up and mobile. Therefore, the nurse needs to ask the doctor about the activity status of the patient in case the order was not written. Remember that mobilizing the patient and getting them back on their feet again is the goal. Early mobilization also decreases the chances of developing bed sores, pneumonia, DVT, psychosis and constipation. If the patient is not safe to walk, make sure you administer appropriate DVT prophylaxis and check for decubitus ulcers and take necessary precautions to avoid them. It is safe for the patient to walk and eat. Eating. Ask yourself, is the patient allowed to eat and are there any food restrictions? For example, is the patient NPO after midnight in anticipation of surgery the next morning? Or does the patient require supplements or a special diet due to diabetes? Neurovascular check. Assess the patient's neurovascular status and check for signs of compartment syndrome. While assessing the patient's neurovascular status, you can insert an IV line for fluids and administer the required antibiotics and pain medication. Remember, if it's not safe for the patient to walk, administer DVT prophylaxis and check for decubitus ulcers and take the necessary precautions to avoid them. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope it helps you memorize the important duties of an orthopedics nurse. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.